channel so in continuation of the series the wedding series actually going on my channel today I'm gonna share with you all this gorgeous smoky eye makeup look it's an Indian wedding guest makeup look and I have created this beautiful looking gown out of a sari that I did had I hope you all will enjoy this video if you do then please don't forget to give this video a massive massive thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you people haven't already let's get started I'm taking my rose water and spritzing it all over my face then taking my Patanjali's cream dotting it all over my face massaging it in because it's just gonna give me that a flawless canvas to go ahead with now I'm taking the Nivea Men's after shaving balm and I'm just applying it over, all over my face as a primer it just acts as a really wonderful primer guys seriously now I'm taking the Lakme Absolute's a most finished foundation and I'm just dotting it all over my face this is one of my favorite favorite foundations of all times and I'm just going ahead and taking my real techniques buffing brush and I'm just buffing it all over my face just making sure that it is looking flawless giving a beautiful uh, flawless look then going ahead with my real techniques miracle sponge once again and just going ahead and patting it all over my face just making sure that my foundation is blended now taking the LA Girl Pro HD concealer in the shade called beige I guess yes it is beige I'm just going ahead and applying it onto the areas where I love to conceal and highlight and then uh, applying it onto my zit as well and then going ahead with my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge Bounce again and just making sure that everything is uh, seamlessly blended into the skin Then going ahead with the LA Girl Pro HD concealer in the shade called Co. I think it is Coco. Ha, huh, it is Coco. And I'm just going ahead and contouring the perimeters of my face as you guys have already seen me doing. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques buffing brush once again and just going ahead and buffing uh, the darker shade all over my face. Now I know it must be looking a little bit weird at the moment but it will all fall in place once it will be uh, you know blended with the help of my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge as uh, well. So the uh, concealer gets blended really well with my Real, uh, Real Techniques brush but it needs a little bit of setting with the help of uh, the Miracle Sponge as well. Contouring is something that needs to be blended really naturally so I just love to go ahead and do every effort that I can just to make sure it's looking seamless now I'm just cleaning up the edges of my contour a little bit because they're quite like um, spreaded all over around so I'm just applying it under and over the contouring area the concealer the Maybelline highlighting concealer is rewind concealer actually not highlighting one and just going ahead and blending it just giving my contour a crisp line from top and bottom and highlighting the top uh, the high point of my face as well at the same time so it's going to serve two distinct purposes at the same time and uh, later on you I'm so sorry guys I feel like I'm out of words so I should stay quiet for a while now I'm going ahead with the LA Girl Pro HD setting powder and I'm just setting my entire face with the help of it and I did receive a comment mentioning that uh, my concealer and highlighter is looking quite light but guys look at my face and my decolleté arch area my arms and all the stuff like that my face matches with all of them I don't know why I don't understand just do let me know in the comments below how many of you feel that I should change my foundation and concealer shade going ahead with my Maybelline uh, Master Studio palette I am taking the contouring shade in it and setting all the areas that I did apply that cream contour on and I'm just going ahead and grooming up my nose at the moment which is a really a very sensual step for me because I just love grooming my nose and then taking the blusher from the same palette I'm just applying it onto the apples of my cheeks I earlier felt this that this blusher wouldn't compliment me but I love the way it gives me a flushed look then taking the highlighter from the same palette I'm just going ahead and applying it onto the higher points of cheeks and uh, just making sure that it is looking perfect really beautifully blended into all the other things that I did went ahead and applied 
going ahead with the cupid's bow on my chin and that's just spraying my rose water over it and taking away any excess powders with the help of my real techniques miracle sponge at the moment as you guys can see me doing now i'm taking matte wood shade from the balm meat match new palette and i'm just going ahead and grooming my brows with the help of it i literally forgot how much time has passed i didn't did anything like this since I guess ages, I believe ages, I seriously don't want to be one of those who are like, okay, fine, I have started doing perfect products, so I'm not going to use unperfect products. Seriously, I'm just going to be stick to what I am. Now I'm applying my lip balm because I did forgot doing that. Switching over to my eyes and coming a little bit closer, taking the same the balm meat matte new uh, palette, and I am taking the matte rose and shade, and I'm smoking. I'm sorry, I'm just applying it onto the crease, I'm not smoking it out anywhere. I'm just connecting it to my lower lash lines as well and then just deepening it with the help of the matte Gracia shade. Just deepening it up a little bit with the help of that shade and just going ahead and applying it onto the outer V as well. Now I'm taking the Lacme Absolute School Pencil and I'm lining my eyes recklessly with the help of it. It doesn't need to be precise because it's going to be smudged. Then taking a, you know, a paddle brush, I'm just going ahead and smoking out that liner before it sets. So just make sure that the liner has been smoked out by you because it will give that intensity to the shade that is coming further for you all. Then I'm going to take the Dream Eye Catcher palette by NYX and taking this beautiful looking uh, blue starry shimmery shade. I'm just going to apply it onto my lid area. It almost resembles to a perfect black but it's not black and that is what I like the most about this shade because it's going to give you a perfect smoky eye yet it's not going to be that black as a smoky eye is and I'm taking my blending brush and I'm just picking up ever so slightly that uh, shade and just going ahead and applying it onto the crease not going all the way above to the browns but uh, the browns I'm sorry but just making sure that it's smudged properly now I'm tight lining my eye with the help of same cold pencil and I'm just applying it onto my waterline as well as you guys can see me doing right here and then taking uh, the same the balm me matte new palette and taking the same matte rosin and matte ratio shades combination i'm just smoking it out onto my lower lash line just diffusing that black at the moment trying to diffuse that black at the moment just making sure that my liner lower lash line is balanced with the upper lash lines now taking my maybelline's hyper ink liquid eyeliner i'm just lining my eyes with the help of it i guess the liner is drying up at the moment and i think i should just go ahead and uh, reinvest in it because it's an amazing liner i love it then i'm taking the maybelline's colossal mascara and i'm grooming my lashes you can totally go ahead with some falsies if you want to but i wasn't feeling like going ahead towards falsies because you guys know i have smaller eyes it just gets hidden by my eyes but uh, just going ahead and grooming everything now i'm uh, taking the pink pigeon shade from sugar this is the matte as hell crayon range and I'm just going ahead and uh, sorry the shade is called Mary Poppins and I'm just grooming my lips with the help of it the best part about a lip crayon is if you sharpen it up it will act as a lip liner as well as your lipstick and uh, that's the finished look you guys I'm setting it all out with my uh, makeup fixing spray and just making sure that everything lasts longer and uh, that's the finished look you guys I hope you all have enjoyed this video if you did then please don't forget to give this video a massive massive thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you people haven't already I'll see you guys in my next video till then stay blessed bye